Greetings, everybody. This is Artemis. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, Senator Ted Cruz of Texas and his introduction of a bill that stops Hollywood from censoring movies from China and also putting political messaging and all that stuff, you know. Um, I know that I don't normally do politics per se, but I think it's kind of important that we discuss this and stuff because there's a there's a lot going on and it's a national security issue and what we're dealing with in regards to china china has been doing a lot of bankrolling into um hollywood and as such hollywood has been you know um Political messaging and so on, like communism is good, CCP is good, and stuff like that, you know. That's why we've got all these media outlets all over the country and stuff trying to side and, and all that side with uh, the communist Chinese and stuff. Just like YouTube is trying to claim that nobody can talk about the situation that's going on and where it originated from and all that. And they'll take down videos from... Uh, complete experts in the field and stuff like that like a few days ago somebody they took down a video from two doctors and stuff like that that were explaining the situation and all that stuff because they said that it was false information but yet the the who the world health organization has credibility and that's the only credibility they'll be allowed on youtube and yet they've been found to be lying about this situation that we're in, where it originated from, where it came from, what it is and what it's not, and carrying the waters of the CCP. So, Ted Cruz stated um, he will introduce legislation cutting off Defense Department assistance for U.S. movie studios that permit China to censor the content. And so, um, if you don't already know, um, Hollywood, whenever they do any type of uh, military uh, movies or uh, TV shows or anything, you know, they're they're trying to get a military per perspective that's going to be accurate. And as such, um, the DoD in the U.S. Uh, provides uh, information and uh, technical uh, expertise and stuff like that to make sure things get done correctly and stuff like that. In inadvertently, it could potentially also um show tactics too as well uh to the ccp yeah i know granted yeah they're they're trying to show things in in uh china or in hollywood and stuff like that to accurate predict you know uh stuff with regards to uh, military action and uh and, and procedures and stuff like that now that it's hard to get that information of course so especially if it's uh hillary clinton's um server and stuff sitting in in a, in a closet you know so uh, it goes on further. It says it is a common for major Hollywood films, like I stated, to work with the Pentagon in order to use defense department assets such as jets, tanks, Navy bases. Cruise legislation prohibited the DOD from providing access to such assets to U.S. studios that censor films for screening in communist nations in the communist nation. Far too long, Hollywood has been complicated complicit in Hollywood censorship and propaganda in the name of bigger profits. The script act will serve as a wake-up call by forcing Hollywood studios to choose between the assistance they need from the American government and dollars they want from China. I think it, I think this goes I don't think it goes far enough and stuff like that. Um, if a lot of people didn't know too, Hollywood has been infiltrated uh, throughout history by the communist. Uh, Russians during the Soviet Cold War, Soviet Union and the Cold War between the United States and, and uh, Russia and stuff. And it also during the rise of the Yahtzee um, of Hitler and all of that and stuff, Hollywood was very uh, anti-Jew, uh, very anti-Semitic. And as such, they... They would run propaganda uh, for the Yahtzees, and um, as such, it was very uh, weird situation and stuff. Um, it's it's a very complicated time that I I just don't want to get into. It's very very hard to um, to to really get into it. Um, another situation too 
there's a new movie coming out. It well, not a new movie, but it's a sequel to um, to Top Gun. And um, if you don't already know, in the first Top Gun, um, Maverick has a uh, a jacket, and it's got a patch from um, Taiwan. And um, as such, for the new movie Maverick, Maverick, they have removed that and stuff. And I don't know if it's a big deal for you. But um, this whole idea that that Taiwan, that Taiwan is part of uh, China is um, just ridiculous. This is just like the South, the uh, South, you know, Sea, and there are artificial islands and stuff like that, you know, and all that. Um, so that's just another means of uh, censorship, you know what I'm saying, and all that. Um, it's it's just you know. I, I think that the you know these companies in the United States, and this goes for like Google, Facebook, Twitter, they all operate under the First Amendment. Okay, yes, they're a private corporation, but they also have they also have the privilege of operating because the U.S. government allows them to, which the, allows them to do so under the First Amendment. And so, but yet they want to censor you. Or they want to censor certain things and all that, you know. So just think about that because, you know, I don't care that they're a, they're a company. They can do whatever the hell they want, to be honest and stuff. I, I don't care and stuff. But the thing is, is don't be a hypocr hypocrisy by operating under the First Amendment and then denying anybody else's speech because you deem it hate or you don't like it. Under the U.S. Constitution, under several Supreme Court cases, hate speech, and no matter what type of speech it is, is still free speech. Until that speech turns into an action that potentially hurts another human being, then it becomes not free speech anymore. So just think about that. So... And a lot of people, you all know what uh, Top Gun is. Top Gun is a is an American classic. It's incredibly disappointing to see Hollywood elites appease the these Chinese Communist Party. The party uses China's economy to silence dissent against its brutal repression and to erode sovereignty of the American allies like Taiwan. You know, and stuff. They've got they've got uh, prison camps. Indoctrination centers for Uyghur Muslims and stuff, you know? No matter if you like that segment or not, it is wrong. They've got organ harvesting going on and stuff. And in many cases, they're claiming that China does this to live people. People are alive when they're removing their organs and stuff. That is literally insane. And we just kind of look the other way, you know, and all that. And, you know, I know a lot of people that do not like Muslims and stuff like that, but that still does not give you or me the right to state that, that oh, well, then they should do it. You know what I'm saying? Blah, 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 you know, and all that. Or the fact that, you know, they remove Japan or, or Taiwan. And from, from, you know, because they don't want to offend China? Really? I mean, it's just like Star Wars, dude. They put an Asian Asian lady in there, uh, Rose Tico. She's Vietnamese, okay? And all that. And that was just an appeasement. And it's like, really? Is that... And, you know, it just, it just drives me nuts. It's like, are you kidding me? You know what I'm saying? And stuff, you know, if if China is so bent and stuff on a, a Hollywood type and stuff, look at India. India's got Bali World and stuff, or Bali Bollywood or wh whatever it is and stuff like that. You know, that's their own culture. It seems like China, in a lot of ways, has got no cultural identity. They've got to copy everything. They got to steal everything. They got to take everything. And think that they have a right to it, no matter what it is. Technology, you know, businesses, ideas, technical, 
uh, innovations and so on and so forth and stuff like that. But, you know, that really kind of shows the, the real um, disaster of what China is, a cultural ide- identity without one. You know what I'm saying? And all that, you know, and, and they think that, you know, they can they can go about what they're doing and all that because all it is is propaganda. It's all it is. That's it. They think and this is what people call in national security circles soft power. And it's smart. But with what happened and what they they accidentally potentially accidentally released into the world of what we're dealing with and stuff like that. Now, all that soft power is going to go away now and all that because the Chinese and the CCP need to be held accountable. So I'm going to wrap this up. I'm at the 11-minute mark and all that. I am sorry that I had to make this video, but I think it's important, and I think we really, really need to rethink all of our nation's how we do supply and demand and stuff, I think we all need to move away from whatever is Chinese. I don't say this against the Chinese people because the Chinese people are innocent in all of this. And they're a proud people, like any nation is around the world. But it's their government that's the problem. It's the Communist Party that is the problem. So I'm going to leave you with that. I want you to uh, share. Subscribe, like, let me know your thoughts below. I'm kind of curious what you think about this segment and all that. Um, So have a good one and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.